Is the next generation of hardware coming sooner than people anticipated? Is it possible that both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox 2 arrive in 2019? Well, according to a job listing at Infinity Ward, that may be the case. What's going on guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day. I know I am. And we're going to be talking about this job listing posted by Infinity Ward, what it means for next generation, and what it means for the next Call of Duty title. Is it possible that single player campaign is making a return? There's a lot of juicy information here, and let's delve into it. So, next generation has been a topic of discussion by a lot of people. Uh, everybody agrees it's coming soon. People just disagree on when it is coming. A lot of people say it's going to be 2019. That's when the PlayStation 5 is going to launch with maybe an Xbox successor. Others still point to 2020. And even still others point to later. 2021, 2022. I am in the camp that I think both consoles are going to launch in 2020. But it seems like maybe one of them is going to launch next year. Now... Talking about next-gen titles, it's kind of been an open secret. Cyberpunk 2077, which stole the show at E3, has already been announced for next-gen consoles alongside current-gen, which, of course, people aren't really uh, up in arms about. It, it, it's kind of like an accepted thing that there are games coming for next-gen. Look at Bethesda with The Elder Scrolls, uh, what is that, 6? as well as Starfield, both those were kind of announced by Bethesda early and have been since talked about for next generation. But we haven't really seen a job listing yet from any of these companies about specifically hiring for next gen platforms until now, if I'm not mistaken. Now this job listing at Infinity Ward is for a narrative scripter. It says, come work with the game industry's brightest on a new, exciting, unannounced title for multiple next-gen platforms. In this hands-on role, you'll collaborate with scripters, sound designers, writers, and directors to implement voiceover performance in game across a wide variety of player experiences, from combat to set pieces. And the qualifications are a cinematic ear for dialogue pacing, a strong desire to bring life to game characters through naturalistic and cinematic implementation of vocal performance, a strong interest and passion for first-person shooter games, the ability to dissect and discuss level design in recent games, a broad understanding of both multiplayer and single-player game design, etc., etc. It's basically asking for what, in my opinion, sounds like a cinematic single-player uh, level designer, uh, you know, and, and it looks like the return of single player to the Call of Duty franchise. We know that Black Ops 4 has gotten a lot of crap for removing the single player, which a lot of people enjoy, myself included. So it looks like the next Call of Duty game is going to have some sort of campaign. Yes, because I actually really do enjoy playing those. Now, the big takeaway from this is that they're hiring for, a, for multiple next-gen platforms. Now, you could think to yourself, well, maybe that doesn't mean what it actually says. Maybe they are referencing the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 as multiple next-gen platforms, but that really can't be the case. We're five years into the gen, so scratch that. The only thing that makes sense is if they are talking about the rumored PlayStation 5 and the potential Xbox 2. And of course, why do I say next year? Couldn't this be a couple years from now, Rand? Couldn't this be 2020? Possibly, but a few years ago, if you do recall, Activision kind of went on this thing and put three developers on the Call of Duty series. And they all went one year after the other after the other. This year is Treyarch, and they do the Black Ops series. Last year was Sledgehammer Games, and they did World War II. Previous year was Infinity infinite warfare by infinity ward so if things hold to pattern the 2019 call of duty title will be infinity ward and this is the their job listing so this points to not only the return of the campaign single player but also more importantly the possibility of next generation platforms coming next year now 
I've always thought the Xbox One and the PlayStation 5 will come in 2020. It makes a lot of sense to me, but the possibility still exists that these companies, Activision, they know a lot more than we do. Of course they do. They're briefed on what these console manufacturers are making. They work hand in hand with them. Uh, they need to know the plans of what they're doing so they can make the games, which is, you know, their lifeblood. So it's possible that PlayStation or Xbox already shared the target specs and target date for these uh, next generation systems. And honestly, if I had to pick a console that would come out next year, it's probably the PlayStation 5 because I don't think it's time for the Xbox 2 just yet, even though Phil Spencer basically announced next generation Xbox hardware at E3 this this past June. I think we're still a little bit a ways away. The Xbox One X came out just, what, nine months ago? It'd be kind of weird for another Xbox uh, hardware to come out next year. Um, so that's why I kind of feel Xbox Two will launch around 2020 and like Halo Infinite will be a launch title for the system. Uh, they showed off that in-engine game demo, or in-game engine demo, whatever you want to call it, for Halo Infinite. They're, they're filming that Halo series early next year. I think they'll have this huge build-up to Halo Infinite as kind of a launch title, or at least a game you can play on your next-generation Xbox. Of course, you can probably still play it on an X, or potentially an Xbox One S. Um, it just... It just makes sense to me that the next Xbox is 2020. The one that kind of is a wild card is PlayStation 5. Um, because I can see it both coming out in 2019 and I can see it coming out in 2020. And a lot of that has to do with the game releases. Sony went to this E3 and really highlighted just four huge titles. Spider-Man, Ghost of Tsushima, Death Stranding, and Last of Us Part 2. And we already know... Uh, Day is Gone, one of their other big titles, is coming out early next year. Now, in my opinion, if somehow they can get almost all those except for Death Stranding to release next year, so if Ghost of Tsushima alongside Last of Us Part 2, if they can get all those games to release next year, then I think there's a high likelihood that the PlayStation 5 will be announced sometime in uh, February through like that PlayStation meeting in New York like they always do and then release at the end of the year and the final exclusive before jumping to the PlayStation 5 would be Last of Us 2 which would be a nice kind of callback to how the PlayStation 3 era ended and Death Stranding would be a 2020 title on both the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 that is something that I think is possible um, is it likely? I don't know but then again you look at the job listing and they're talking about multiple next-gen platforms. Is it just to be to err on, on the side of caution here? I mean, it's possible that neither of these two consoles, maybe they are planned for 2019, but potentially because of whatever issues, they get moved to next year. But it is interesting that we're, we're seeing it now from a game, from a developer, that is scheduled for 2019 even though it's unannounced and we all know it's coming next year that hey next gen's coming very very soon and i know a lot of people are excited about that prospect i know a lot of people are kind of like really it just kind of seemed like this gen got just just starting to get going um you know there's a lot of great games coming from playstation Microsoft finally seems like they're getting the, their head on their shoulders and building, uh, you know, buying first party studios so they can create more exclusives. But are you ready for next gen? Is it, is it something that you're thinking like, man, you know, I had a great time with my PlayStation 4, but it's time to put this baby in the closet and start riding with the PlayStation 5. I don't know. It's interesting. It's uh, very interesting to think about and I, I'm kind of waiting for more game developers to put out job listings like this because when you see multiple next-gen platforms it does make your eyebrows raise a little bit now i'm happy that it looks like according to this job listing at least we're going to get the return of the campaign for you know whatever the next game is modern warfare 4 perhaps because i feel that it's um that's the right thing to do and i have no interest in black ops 4 whatsoever because they did remove the the campaign um but yeah, that multiple next-gen listing there makes me think about 
is it possible the PlayStation 5 will be out next year, one year ahead of the Xbox 2? It's, it's something I think Microsoft wouldn't want, but maybe something that Sony, des maybe not desperately, but definitely is thinking about. I mean, when they unveiled the PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, Mark Sony did say this was a mid-gen console, and you know if that was true with the mid-gen console in 2016, that means the end would be in 2019. Um, I guess all I'm saying is take a look at what Sony's releases are for next year. If they can get Ghost of Tsushima, Days Gone, as well as Last of Us 2 out next year, I think the PlayStation 5 could come in 2019. And this Infinity Ward game, uh, presumably Modern Warfare 4 or whatever, will be a launch title for the system, which is why they are hiring for multiple next-gen platforms. Either way, it's pretty interesting. Maybe it means nothing. Maybe it means everything. But, um, you know, I like talking about it. Anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Um, if you're new, uh, hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. You know what? You know how this always ends. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later.